Hi, I'm Scott Broder, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing here at Inland Games. Uh, essentially, in the segment Educational Technology, or EdTech, there's game-based learning. Within game-based learning, there's immersive games, like the ones we're doing, very similar to Halo, World of Warcraft, as opposed to Reader Rabbit, and more traditional uh, computer-based training. What we've done so far is using the same game tools used to create Halo, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, those immersive games, we've created an educational game. And instead of rendering a post-apocalyptic or zombie-infested terrain, what we've done is using historical documents based on national archives, we've recreated circa 1774 Philadelphia Independence Hall and we have a history-based episode where kids are organized into the original 13 colonies and actually go through the Second Continental Congress. Uh, it's a great game. We've run it through, oh, I guess, 250 students, maybe 10 classes, three teachers in two different schools. have just gotten great feedback by both teachers and students. Uh, but that's where we are today. Our vision is not to have a history game or even a series of history games. What we want to do is have a game or game lesson that a teacher would use once a month. And if there's 10 months in the year times 7 or 8 grades, that would be 80 games. But not even 80 games. If there's 5 subjects, there would be 400 games. So what we want to do is really have 400 of these game lessons that teachers can just take off the shelf and use in their class. They can use any one of those games or game lessons as is, or they can take that game, change it a little bit, add a PowerPoint, remove a video, change the chalkboard assignment that kids see in-game on the wall, they can take that standard lesson, derive it, or what we refer to as remix it, and then post it back into the pool of available lessons. So what we see is happening is we really have three things. We have a core curriculum of maybe 400 lessons. We have our game editor that lets teachers remix. But those two things will then drive maybe thousands of games, and we'll have a community, almost a Wikipedia or YouTube, of immersive game lessons that teachers can take and use. And teachers have in their DNA this beg, borrow, steal, reuse, repurpose, save as, customize or remix for their own use, and the DNA that says, let me share that and pass that down on to the next guy. So. We really see this as um, uh, an open platform with, as I said, full curriculum for K through 12 times math, English, science, history times one educational game or game episode or game lesson a month that teachers would be able to use. And uh, yeah, go up to the site and you can see a demonstration. We've got a 20-minute version for teachers that just wanted to be part of a classroom experience. We've got a version that could be an entire 50-minute class. And we've also got teachers that have used it over the course of three days. So, uh, yeah, that's the idea. And, uh, yeah, hope you like it. Go to InlandGames.com. That's I-N-L-A-N-D Games.com. Hope you enjoy it.